Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about my body's built to process vodka, so I'm going to be fine. Just here's the here's what you do. You just pretend and then you'll believe. This is a weird conversation to have at a Hooters. And I and if everybody could turn it down, I'd like to talk to Jesus Christ right now. <laughs> Here we go. Pew, pew. Ow. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, mama. What's up, gentlemen? Gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Get em. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Go, bumper. Go. Bumper. <laughs> go, bumper, baby. Beyonce <laughs> tickets. $1,600, our producer just told us. How much? For some floor seats. 1600 Oh, my God. Call Live Nation right now and do Bumper Sings Beyonce. Yeah. Oh, and my I'll do God. It for, dude, I'll do it for half price, okay? <laughs> Bro, Bumper Sings Beyonce will, uh, okay. will sell out, okay? Okay? I'll do it for half price. <laughs> wow, that's still which would still be what did I say? Sixteen hundred, like eight hundred bucks. Nobody's Ew. going for eight hundred. Yeah, I do it eight hundred dollars a ticket. Okay. Oh, who's going at eight <laughs> hundred? Hold up, they don't love you like I love you. Wait, Slow wait. down, they don't love you like I love you. <laughs> Is Back that up. <laughs> Proof's in the pudding. Isn't they don't love you like I love you? Isn't that from a different song? Yeah, they I... don't love you like I love you. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, na, 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 na. yeah, so she just took that from that. That's Maps? Yeah, that's yeah. Maps. Yeah, that Maps by Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's, Cold War Kids. Right. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah's, Karen, Karen O. Come okay. on. So Beyonce is going to charge you $1,600 to just sing a different version? To listen to someone else's song. Come on, Yance. Whoa, guys, stop. Do not come at Beyonce. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? You know what, guys? If you could turn it down, I'd like to talk to <laughs> Beyonce, who I know is listening. Don't talk. Uh-oh, he's going to buzz around the beehive. Who I know is listening right now. Okay, please turn it down. Okay. Hey, Yance. Hey, rem I thought we had a thing. Remember that time that we were all side stage together watching Tyler the Creator? Oh, I remember that. Perform You're supposed to be mm. all the way down. I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be talking to Yance right now. <laughs> Kyle, you can't hear this. <laughs> Ron Howard was there, dude. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. All of a sudden, we smelt this delicious, like cotton candy esque smell, and we were mm -hmm. like, "What is there, is there a cotton candy machine on the side of the stage? What's going on?" Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, these giant men came on stage, and we're like, "Why are these men blocking our view? They're seven feet tall." And then Yance showed mm -hmm. up, yeah, babe. and uh -huh. it was like time stood still, and yep. I held you in such regard, Yance. And then when I wanted to shell out my ducats. To come watch you perform as an average Joe, it's sixteen hundred bucks, Yance. Wow, dude. Wow, hey, dude. That's supply and demand right there, though. That's hey. all that is. Who? Yeah. Who are you trying to get? Who are you trying? Can we co can we come back? Can we come back yet? Or you can come back. Yeah, you guys are more than welcome to come back. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> okay. It was getting like <laughs> I was gonna go run an errand. Yeah, oh. that was um, weird, dude. You got you went off on her, bro. <laughs> Oh, sorry, dude. I don't know. Yeah, you didn't hear what I had to say. What did you say? <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff about how I'm disappointed that she uh, is charging too much for her tickets, dude. That didn't take that long. <laughs> <laughs> What's a higher price ticket? WrestleMania or Beyonce? Because they're both at SoFi. It's Beyonce, dude. WrestleMania is, yeah, it's like yeah. a fucking nickel. Different target demo. <laughs> I, I feel like WrestleMania is a hard ticket to get, though. It's a hard ticket to get. It's not 1600 bucks, though. No yeah. way. Well, to me, I'm like, wh who do you want coming to your shows if for 1600 You just want a bunch of rich fucks who actually don't love your music? Or do you want... They don't love you like I love you. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, they don't. Uh, hold up, they don't love me like I love you. Hey, this is actually an interesting, an interesting thing you're bringing up. Do you think when you like really what? a subject, a, a talking point, <laughs> a thing? This is a thing. <laughs> this is. <a> <laughs> I love that you preface it this way. 
Oh yeah, what's interesting, Blake? This is an interesting thing. Okay, so do you feel like okay. when you like really break your bank to go and do some shit, does that make you like enjoy it more? Like you're like we okay, had this is interesting. No. This, the no. best time. This no, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. You don't drop 10 2 grand and go to Beyonce and then leave going like, "Eh, it was all right." You tell everybody it was fucking fantastic. It was the best night of our lives. I don't think I do. Whether you tell everyone or what you actually felt like at the show, those are two different things. If you're the type of person that's willing to leave and lie, mm. then yeah, Blake, I guess you do go and tell everyone. Mm. I'm saying that like Disneyland, it goes off of this mind state. Shut up. <laughs> Shout out to Disney. You bring seven people, your whole family to Disneyland. Everybody's 300 bucks a head. You come out yeah. of there like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, happiest place in the fucking world, dude. Right. Best place on earth. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you do. You do. Relatable. <laughs> yeah, but if it costs fifty dollars, if it costs fifty dollars, it would still you would still be like, holy shit, that was awesome. Like if like back in the day when you'd go see a concert, I'd be like, eh. And it costs five dollars to get in. Sure. And you and then the band blew you out the fucking water. You're still gonna leave going like, holy shit, last night was the fucking best. Right. If it was great. Yeah, but I'm saying when you pay that big, big guap, guap. you kind of are like setting yourself up for like, yeah, this is going to be an epic night no matter what happens. You have to say that. You have to come into it that way. Well, you have to – whether you say that or believe that – Is two different things. Yes. I believe you have to say – you are like can, trying to convince yourself. But then if you go in the sh – I have no problem – saying i wasted money doing something and it wasn't worth it yeah me too you have oh, really me too okay yeah. see yeah. i think i think the more money i spend the more i drink the kool-aid of fun <laughs> yeah well because you don't want to feel like a mark but at the same time you also want to know the worth of your dollar and fucking call it out when it I'll, sucks I'll, I'll, you can convince yourself that you are a mark well i am i'll tell you a good example like i went to like I went to the finals game for the Warriors when Toronto beat them, like, last game in Oakland. And I, <laughs> this is interesting. I paid, like— This is an interesting thing. <laughs> I paid a big amount of money. I brought my brother. I feel like, in total, it was, like, maybe around $7,000 or something for both of us. And we nice. lost. And it was, like, we had to come out, like— But that was history. We were part of history, though. That's cool. No, I would be like, God damn it. But it was terrible. It was terrible. It was the worst. Yeah, no, that that sucks, dude. I mean, it, yeah, it was the worst. You have to just go, I'm glad. Yeah, Kyle, what are you? What is happening <laughs> Kyle's there? Kyle's on yeah. some dogma You're like, shit, he's bro. making the <laughs> eyebrows for his yeah, camera. Kyle, or yeah, I'm trying to fix this. Yeah, there's a, I'm so okay. sorry. Hollywood Minute, everyone. I'm going back to my grip roots. It's, <laughs> there's, this is a Hollywood Minute because there's a, a light shining in the corner. Kyle he's found getting Jesus. taken up to he heaven. Yeah, yeah, but look at, look, look at that grippage. Look at that grippage. Do you see look what I fixed that. that with? Oh look my at this. God. I fixed that with this. Wow, oh, God. I mean, I'm oh sorry. It's, uh, it's a, a folded up piece, piece of paper. Of yeah, paper. I'm fixing it. Impressive. So, to people listening at home, <laughs> yeah, it's not a, this is a visual thing. Tune into YouTube, smash Hold that up. bell. <laughs> tune into YouTube, check tune it in, out. Tune into YouTube to see Wait, Kyle's. But, <laughs> yeah, smash, that, smash that bell. Blazer, to speak to your variant. So, it's, this, this is interesting. It's I, Honestly, I'm glad you said how interesting yeah. it was, Jers, because I've been thinking it. This is interesting, right? <laughs> right? No, this is an interesting thing. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> to speak to this, what the move is... Please speak to it. Especially for a game that you're about to spend money on. Because mm -hmm. it's a win or lose. It's a 50-50, right? Yeah, it's a you got to pad things around it. Beyonce's right? going to put on a show. True, true. The team might lose. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm <laughs> yeah, talking yeah. about. Beyonce is yes. a win-win. Win-win. What I'm saying is you got to go with good people. People. So like, oh. it's about it's about the bonding. You got to mm. go to maybe a dinner beforehand. Yeah, make right. it a little <laughs> bit more of a thing. More money, more money. <laughs> yeah, right. That is more money. <laughs> it, it is more money, but it 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 helps because if the Here's... show sucks and like you're behind a pole or something, like okay, well, bad you know? seats, fuck bad seats, bro. Or there's like somebody next to you that's just funky. 
fuck bad seats. Yes. Who's just, yeah. Or who's just really, it's singing all of Beyonce's songs and you're like, yeah. I'm try- I came here for the, yeah. if I'm sitting next to you, <laughs> yeah, you're right. bummed. Well, you, you're I'm bummed, just- dude. Cause I'm like, hold up. Adam, I think, I think sitting next to you, you're like, I'm the only one that can sing in our area. Is my yeah. correct when I, hold up. I <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> wait, but that guy who's singing spent $2,000. Let, let him live, man. Let him True. sing every word. I didn't say anything about somebody singing. I'm saying like a poll. <laughs> I know, but then you're sitting right next to him, and I'm ruining the show for you, Blake. Aren't you a little butthurt by that or no? So do you say, hey, bro, stop singing, or do you? No, you let him sing. It's a concert. It's a concert. You have to, you're at a concert. Well, no, I'm not because I'm the one singing, so <laughs> yeah. I would just join him. You're at a concert. Sing away. Dude, yeah, switch away, know. Meryl. Nah, sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up and and let Beyonce do it. Yeah, come on. What? Well, that's no, uh, the opposite sing. of what you just said one minute ago, Blake. Yeah, I know. I'm flip flopping. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He said this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Huh? <laughs> now, why did you feel the need to flip flop? This is an interesting thing. Huh? Why this did you a... feel the need to? <laughs> this is why for me, live music is hit or miss because it's it's not your experience. Mm. It's a collective experience, mm-hmm. and you got to be ready to be collecting some fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you go to a nice dinner. I love that you. Uh, uh, you used to. I feel like you co- have come around a little bit on live music because I remember back in the day. Yes, mm-hmm. you saying how much you hated it, mm-hmm. and then oh. you went to a. The year yeah. was like. 2006 or 7 and you went to a Killers concert and oh. I remember you coming back and being like I've changed my mind on live music uh, it was a transcendent experience and we're like what does transcendent mean? It's cool that the Killers did it. The Killers did it. <laughs> Here, Here's what it was. It was like a New Year's bash oh, no. or something <laughs> on like the Sony lot or the Paramount lot or something. Paramount! Ooh. Dang dude you fancy huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. VJ style. <laughs> It wasn't like a cool invite. This is before everything. Right. Okay. You snuck in. Yeah, but you're uh, still there. This the was Durs just a, is cool like that. What are you doing? Yeah, now? that's the Durs effect. And so they were just throwing a party there to make money, like whatever, like okay. live, Sick. live, live okay. show. Okay. So Venual. somebody got t- somebody got tickets. We went, and it, they got they got a lot of songs, you know, a lot of hits. But they do. After the show, it was only a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fucking terrifying mob. I saw like like people just pushing towards the gate, and you're like, mm-hmm. "This is thousands of people pushing." It got mm-hmm. like a little scary. I saw you were like, "Hold up!" I saw a few <laughs> little people get like pull like hoisted out. Wait, wait, like children or like no little people. like little pe- little people. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Why? What? What? How do you describe them? What do you? What do you say? Little people. Yeah, that's right. I just say. Yeah, yeah, little people, yeah. Human Ewoks? Yeah. Just clarification. It's okay to clarify, right? It's okay to clarify. I say human Ewoks. (laughs) Adam says human Ewoks. And to be fair, that's who was in the Ewok costumes. Yeah. I call them Blumpkins. (laughs) Okay, y'all went down down the wrong one. Dwarves. (laughs) Hold up. Is that bad? (laughs) Bobbins? Nobody. Willow. Um, Hold up. (laughs) They were like getting trampled and I saw people like hoisting them up onto mm-hmm. like oh fuck that's scary things and 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 that made it shitty again so so that's why they call them the killers <laughs> the killers put on a good show but live music you never liked that because I remember I I went to a <laughs> lot of concerts when I was 16 17 18 mm-hmm. yeah. And I would go like a few times a week to different shows. Right. And I loved that. I loved getting squished and I love like yeah. having to squeeze out yeah. of, uh, or like getting stuck in the pit and there's like a fully grown man there. Thro- yeah. This was people screaming. This was people screaming. Yeah. yeah. When it's yeah. like a yeah. mass movement, like Durs is describing, where it's like they're all rushing towards the door or something, like that shit is you, fucking you got- freaky. If you're in the pit, if you're in the pit. But when you're 16, it's kind of fun. When you're, I understand. No, I never liked that. I never liked it. You never no. liked it. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that. I love. No, nah, Durs doesn't seem like a pit guy. I love the pit, but I don't love I don't love when mm, those big check hands. Yeah, I don't love when shit is supposed to be working properly and then it goes awry. Oh wow. And then people are pushing. I don't like that. That scares the fuck out of me. I don't like it either. <laughs> That's not very punk rock of you. Wow, Wait, what are you uh, so? <laughs> What are you mean? <laughs> I feel like when you go to a public space, you you 
there's a certain contract where like you look out for people. Okay. Yep. And and as an adult, I 100% agree. I sure. don't like that anymore either. <laughs> But I find it interesting that you never liked the chaos of it. I thrive in the chaos. Because especially, especially when I was younger, I really enjoyed the chaos of like the after show, like some crazy shit's going to go down. You know, it, I, it was exciting. You go in the parking lot, people are fighting. You're like, oh, this is this is kind of <laughs> tight. Yeah, it is. It is kind of chaotic. I mean, yeah, you find someone's gun, you grab it, you start just. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, what? Yeah. Huh? What's okay, up? okay. Oh, no. yeah. Wait. You fire know. away, fire away, Meryl. Wait, can I can I ask a real uh, like first date question? Oh, oh this is interesting. Okay, <laughs> now we're getting this interesting. Is an interesting. interesting. Allow thing. me to Here we go. <laughs> really Allow. make this podcast yeah. quite interesting. I think we're the guys for this question. Go ahead. What's the best concert you've ever been to? In your life, oh, dude, and why is that a first date question? That's not. I would. I would. That's a good first date question. Yeah, that's oh. okay. Like what you like a conversation starter. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would say, yo, what's what's the greatest concert you've ever seen in your life? That's a good first icebreaker. Adam's like, this is a weird conversation <laughs> to have at a Hooters. Adam's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how am I Except supposed to talk movies. over the music at Spearmint <laughs> Rhino on my first date? <laughs> Why aren't we talking about yes, the crab legs? <laughs> uh, I think I think I know my most transcendent moment at a at a concert. Okay, I know uh, that too. Yes. I know what That's it not is. what I asked, but I Hold would up. like to hear this. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, this is interesting. You said first concert ever. Actually, actually, now this. Is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you ask that? What was the question you asked? No, it was your just your first important. concert. It's just supposed to be a name. No, it's no your no. best concert. Your best concert. Your, the best concert you've ever seen. You you. Okay, okay. So I did. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Your your first best. Okay, well then that could be the same. It's transcendent. I feel your first best most transcendent <laughs> concert. Go. <laughs> My first <laughs> most best transcendent moment at any concert was watching Jack White fucking. Mm. Okay, here he goes. In a duet with a fucking like 90 year old theremin expert at Coachella. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. It was. Uh, why did Kyle lead this off? And we're back. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you start somewhere and then you build. You, you build. I'm never going to see that again. You might see it again, dude. <laughs> uh, a th theremin is that weird electronic where you move your hands yes. and it's like, wow. I don't think so. This dude was old. The guy playing the theremin was fucking old. Yes, Adam is yeah, right good. to explain what the instrument is. Yeah. It also yeah, is yeah, a yeah. it is yeah, yeah. pretty terrible sounding instrument. It's like I know. It, <laughs> so, yeah, it's like two, it's like to explain it, Kyle. It's like okay, two electronic. Is, yeah. yeah, it's an electronic device that it works in proximity. So if your hand gets close <laughs> to one of the <laughs> The bars, the metal important. bars, it'll quiet, or make it quieter or louder. If your hand gets close to the other one, yeah. it goes louder and more high. It goes high pitched, higher low pitch. So it's like, Durs is doing it. It's basically, it's basically yeah. like if you have a microphone like that's feeding back next to a speaker, I'm, like <laughs> right. Admittedly, I love Jack White too. I could see you got to drink that Kool Aid though. If you just are like a if you're just a hip hop fan or something, and you don't really fuck with Jack White, and you stumble over there, you're you might be weirded out by that experience. This was like the high point of a fucking ripping set, dude. Like if yes. you're if yes. you're into Jack White's guitar, it was fucking ripping, dude. I'm I'm Team Jack White all the way. He yeah he fucking rocks. Mm -hmm. He's like I just played the guitar to the best of anybody's ability. Now listen to this terrible instrument <laughs> from this ninety year old dude. Yeah, that was the strangest part. Is it was like it actually worked with the way that he it mm. it was really wild, dude. This was Coachella main stage. I bet I bet the guys the guys a a vampire genius. It was transcendent. You were zoning. You were transcended. You are fully transcendent. How, what what drugs were you on? Mushrooms. We're back. We're back on. Okay. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> Mushrooms Our, and weed. That's cool, bro. Our second tr trans episode here. <laughs> I believe my my transcendent moment, or because that's what we're talking about, right? That was the question. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is an interesting thing. <laughs> Was, uh, ah, damn, I'm blanking on the name of the, uh, Arcade Fire. 
Oh, dude, yes. Sure. Yeah, at Bonnaroo, and we yeah. were all there together, and it yeah. was right when uh, Workaholics had just come out. Mm -hmm. So it was the first time, like, that was a really crazy Bonnaroo because I felt like we were in L.A. The show came out in April. Bonnaroo's June or July, I think June. Yeah. And so it's only been out a few months, and none of us had really left L.A. And mm -hmm. L.A. people are, like, cool. And don't like us. And they'll, they'll be like, oh, shit, <laughs> what's up? Yeah, and they hate us. We. Uh, and then, uh, you know, people are like, oh, cool, this show. And we're like, oh, we're getting recognized yeah. a little bit. But then Bonnaroo was guys. insane. And then yeah. Arcade, and so I kept getting past joints, and I smoked every one of them that came yeah, my did. way. And I probably smoked Good like job. eight eight or nine joints. <laughs> Great and job. then uh, Arcade Fire put on a hell of a show. And I remember just like spinning through the crowd. Oh, literally, like, beautiful. Like, like literally, lost, I like lost, <laughs> like literally. literally arms out spinning. <laughs> like I lost you guys, and I just was like, "Wee!" and just spun like yeah. a fucking top through the crowd, and was like, "This is." There are some magical moments during like festivals, like when it's all winding down, where I've had like just like walking through like the massive fields. You're all the shit, all yeah. the <laughs> people's that right. shit on the ground, all and the piss trash. everywhere, and all the yeah. trash. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful. Stop to take a shit real quick. <laughs> what what you're describing is dehydration. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, arcade yeah, fire though. This. Arcade you're just fire, like fuck yeah. hallucinating. The colors are really <laughs> popping. Yeah, when you're super high on drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're peaking. You're peaking. <laughs> Everybody else is like passed out in the grass. You're like, they're really going to sleep here tonight. Oh, fuck. That sucks for them. Oh, my God. They're going to wake up in the grass. Durs, what was yours? Was it The Killers? Was that your favorite concert ever? No, sorry. Excuse me. It might have been his only concert. This is interesting. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, all those festivals were cool. Um, I mean, I remember breaking into that church. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, that was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Was that South by Southwest? South yeah. by. Man, I haven't been there in a while. And this is the classic because I think it's Adam's worst concert going experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. And maybe my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Because it was very small, intimate. There was a church. We, me and, me and Kyle broke in and then like let you guys in the side. Yeah. 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 And yeah. we went to go yeah. see, it was Toon Yards opening for... Uh, Twin Shadow? Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow opening for James, James Blake. Blake. Yeah. And James Blake didn't come on until like one. Really I late. Uh, so I think we came late, mm -hmm. me and Blake, and we came yes. and met you guys just for James Blake. And by that time it was one o'clock and we'd been drinking since like 10 a.m. And I remember, and we're in a church and it's... It's not like a sh rock show where you're like up and moving and getting oh. energy. You're sitting in pews. Yeah. yeah. We so, were on the floor when we got there, right? Yeah, just sitting like cross-legged on the floor. Bro, I don't, I just. Oh, is that right? And then as people left, we sat in the pews. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember being. I remember going backstage in that show somehow, like going, <laughs> right? Like what the fuck when happened? We, we snuck in the back of this church, like a door open and we got in. They thought you were the preacher. Me and Durs used to just walk places at festivals. <laughs> Oh my god! And be like, this is we're supposed to be here. Do you remember when we used to walk places, dude? <laughs> you see, we just would pick up a ladder, and you could get in anywhere. This is interesting. <laughs> we used to just get in. This is interesting. Yeah, and I remember not that was one of my least favorites because I was so drunk and tired, and admittedly, I didn't know much James Blake, yeah. and it was so. And look, if if that was like to start. The, the <laughs> concert off like yeah. just to start like the 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 weekend off I'd be like wow this is tight if I'm just a little stoned and it's right. like in the middle of the afternoon when I'm not blackout drunk yeah. I'd be like this is great but it was so late and I was so tired and drunk I was uh and James Blake is a mood yes he's definitely a mood right and it's late and you really gotta be like oh this is the shit and you're watching something that you didn't think could be performed live performed live especially like the drumming yeah that was the sickest part the the like off sync drumming the dude yeah I was like how is he doing this uh whoever the drummer was that was wild great drummer and i was like hated it twin shadow was dope and then before that <laughs> tune yards was doing like a one woman pedal show yeah dude like looping and it and shit that was like some of the first times i saw that it, i was like i've never seen anything like this yeah that like loop shit was kind of sick now i feel like people kind of started doing that but it's the yeah. loop shit's dope. Well, I feel like Re I saw Reggie Watts do that shit yeah. in like 04. Hey, shout out to Reggie Watts. Yeah. yeah, Reggie Watts was a king. 
He's a king of the loop. Big shout out. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a king of the loop. King yeah. of the loop, man. Okay, you guys want to hear my favorite one? <laughs> uh, but that was such a small, intimate show. And like I was saying, I was with my guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you, Durst. I love you. And we broke, we snuck in. <laughs> had a good dinner? Did we have a good dinner? Durs, I'm like trying to remember like Durs. Probably. What did, yeah, we had great Austin. dinners. At, yeah. Yeah, it's Austin, baby. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, you know we had some salt lick. And but this, we were coming from Yellow Wolf, right? <laughs> we were coming from, and we're coming, it, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is this after or before Yellow? Yeah. yeah. My black Chevy. <laughs> we went to Yellow, me and you, you were like, I want to go to Yellow Wolf. I'm like, boy, I'm with you. And we <laughs> Yes. I just want to party. Hey, Kyle, are you bummed that Yellow Wolf <laughs> didn't transcend? Like, I'm fine with it. Did, <laughs> like, I bumped? No, I'm good. I got everything I needed out of that. He didn't become like Post Malone. Like, Post Malone is now like one of the biggest artists in the world. Ooh, for sure. And when they started, you were like, yeah, Post Malone, Yellow Wolf, that you kind of put them in the same camp. Yeah. They were neck and neck, weren't they? Mm. And is it just because they were Wasn't both white guys with tattoos? Oh, I never have done that before. I've never put them in the same. White Southern. I group people together by races. Yes, <laughs> me too. Uh, me too. <laughs> I've never put them in the I same boat, to tell you the truth. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Huh, I guess they are both white. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't realize. I was, is it a Machine Gun Kelly more akin to Yellow Wolf than Post Malone? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, wow. Look at you guys. Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're, I guess you probably are right. And, and then once again, I I know white rappers, period. <laughs> and then once again, he eclipsed uh, Yellow Wolf. Wait, right. wait, who's bigger, MGK or Post Malone? Everlast was Godfather. <laughs> white. <laughs> Um, I just want to party. I mean, now Machine Gun, well. Yeah, because he's a movie mm. star. Machine Gun Kelly's a movie star now, though. He's got movies. Yeah, but kind of. No, he's got he's got starring movies. Well, he's got movies. I don't know if he's a star of them. Dude, he was in Bird Box, dude. Was he? Was he in Bird Box? Was he? I think so. Wasn't he? Like in the kitchen? <laughs> I think you're right. I think he yeah. was like, yeah, he's Probably. like fucking in the closet. He's like the, yeah. like the renegade. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, pull it up. I just watched. He yeah, was I like, I'll be in this, but I got a rewrite idea. Um, <laughs> Wait, did they make a bird box too or what? Because I need another one, baby. Give me that. <laughs> what? Wasn't that oh. about like the end of the world? Yeah, where you couldn't open your eyes. I'm like, okay. So yeah. good. What Get a great Nick. concept. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to look. <laughs> and then a week later, a week later, it was like, you can't make a noise for. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the quiet place. Yeah, quiet place. Yeah, and then now, now it's uh, yeah, that's what it is in yeah, The Last of Us. You can't watch it now. It's like you're not allowed to watch the it. The Last of Us, the HBO that's they, based on a video game that I never played. That looks like it's probably fucking cool. Didn't know it was a video game until right now. People claim it to be like the best video game ever. I I would like to play it, dude. I'm getting what? back into video games. I just that's, was ooh. playing Call of Duty. I'm getting like this is interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was just like, you know what? Wow. Do tell. I got some downtime. I've wanted to play. I've wanted to smoke weed and play more video games in my life. Mm -hmm. And so uh, make me cool. I've been smoking a lot of weed and playing a lot of Call of Duty. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And it's great. And and if you guys want to get Call of Duty, get a PS5, get Call of Duty, uh -huh. and we could play together, yeah. mm, that'd be fantastic. I'd Dude, love that for us. It really is yeah. fun. Can I just <laughs> can I just log on and not play but smoke? <laughs> With yeah, you guys. Right. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, your guys just getting killed all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Kyle just ducks in like the corner of the level, just in, in a fucking drop by a drop box, just like. And then I'm just gonna roast like all night with you guys while you play and just hang out. <laughs> That'd be sick. Cause I've been smoking a fuck ton of weed too ever since, like, <laughs> like, like so much. Okay. Wow. What something's in the air. Nice, dude. Ever since no, it, the uh, movie was huh. pulled. Something's in the air, dude. Yeah, it's like, wow, just smoke weed all day. Smoke weed what all did, day. What you know? Yeah, uh, Honors, our movie was pulled. Yeah, yeah. we would have been shooting it like right now. Oh, Durs yeah. hadn't. Yeah. No. I'm still going to send it. Freaking <laughs> sucks, dude. I've been, I've been gaining weight for the role, though. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it so up. So have I, dude. You're telling me I should work out. I, all the photos just got back from that trip I went on, the Indonesia uh, trip. and <laughs> Yes, dude. They're starting to drop. Mm, I like it. Dude, I, I'm like, everyone in the group is like, 
a fucking athlete. Like Sean White was there. Nina Dobrev, it was her birthday. They're both phenom in phenomenal shape. Yeah. And I just look like a right. bowl of mashed potatoes. She's not to I, posting that many pictures of you. I'm like, <laughs> you balance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. He's balancing I it out. stop eating. Yeah, you don't look like a bowl of mashed potatoes. You're okay. Come on. Yes, no, she she hasn't posted that many of me. I think she like is politely gone, oh, maybe he wouldn't want that one. <laughs> right. I noticed one where I think she tagged one that it wasn't even you, but like the bro's face was like blocked by like a rope. But she's like, No, Adam was here. <laughs> Adam was here. <laughs> it was uh, here. That's yeah. him, the one with the abs. Did you go him. shopping for like linens and stuff before you went? Or did you already have your kind of? Yeah, do you already own linens like the rest of us? <laughs> no, I got. I yeah, I, I I upped my linen game because that's cool. It was muggy as fuck. You mm -hmm. had to have the linens and things. Linens are the shit, man. Is that when that's where you went? Linens and things. <laughs> I went linens and things. Yeah, it's nothing but bed sheets around yeah, my yeah. bro shops at Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just throw a pillowcase on and cut holes in it. <laughs> uh, hey, no bullshit. I love Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, I think it's kind of R.I.P., right? Are they fucking closing? I heard they're done, bro. No, lin linens and thing is No, done. Anders. I heard <gasps> BBB, BBMB. I think it's done. Oh, no. Bed Bath & Beyond is... Bed Bath & Beyond is going to the... Yeah, it's bye-bye. Great Beyond? To the yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, that's, that's, that's what I just heard from my grandma. My grandma just told me. Because they have, like, everything. Like, you can get... Fucking toothpaste holders, back rubbers, Australian Dude. licorice. Like I know, man. It's a huge it bummer. This is a big loss. <laughs> Dyson fans. It's not big lots. <laughs> is that just because of Amazon? Amazon has ruined that because now everyone's just like, ah, oh, fuck. I'll just get a. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. This, this, is, an this is a good first thing. date question. We're like, what's yeah. your favorite Bed Bath and Beyond item? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I would assume, yeah, it's rugs, dude. <laughs> I've never been inside of one. I, I don't I know. I've never been in. You never have. You've never been in a Bed Bath and Beyond. What? Are you kidding me? Get oh, there. You gotta go for the clothes. Get there, brother. And get Live there. stream it, please. <laughs> dude, get there. Like this is content. <laughs> okay, what should I get when I when I get when I go there? What's the beyond section about? Bro. Dude, you'll see. You're gonna be so overwhelmed. You're gonna yeah. be like, do I need new pillows? Like, do I need plates? <laughs> Well, I can't even go to the like the grocery store as long as it hasn't been picked over. Because uh, you know, I like I said just a minute ago, I like to smoke a little weed and then and then run my errands. This is what I used to do all the time. I smoke weed and go to BB and B. And then you go there, and then you then you're there for like two hours, and you realize you just brought bought like Greek yogurt, and nothing <laughs> that you actually came there for, and you're that's like, well, what the fuck? No, this you're not going to have that issue <laughs> yeah, at Bed yeah, Bath no, no, Beyond no. because a, 98 percent thing. of the stuff that's on the shelves you need. Yeah, that's true. It's as simple as that. Uh, <laughs> hungry, hungry thing is Adam's nickname. That's like my guy. <laughs> Hungry thing. <laughs> they call me the hunger thing. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble, bitch. Uh, you gotta go to Bed Bath and Beyond. You gotta go before it's gone, dude. Mm. You have to experience it. Uh, <laughs> you have to. I think it's probably been pretty picked over, though. Don't you think? If they've announced it, like, and they're not resupplying, it's probably picked no, over. Yo, no bullshit. I went to one right after like the My Pillow guy controversy. I don't even know what the fuck it was. Yeah, but they were selling the pillows for ninety nine cents, and I was Ooh. there looking for pillows, and I was like, <laughs> like, swoop, swoop, swoop. Or maybe it was one ninety nine. It, it, it one ninety nine. It was something Wait. like hilarious. They were like liquidating. <laughs> Wait, are those pillows good? So what was the controversy there? The the controversy was just he was a Trump guy. And so now, like his pillows, he, he also he went he went lunatic. He went lunatic. No, he was selling uh, he was selling a cure to COVID. I think. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he I don't knows even know what his something along to those COVID. lines. Oh, that, right. Like a, yeah. a, a something for COVID that like either prevented it or helped you after you got it that wasn't proved, and they went on like a you know, CNN and was like, well, this is what happens on CNN. I can't wait for the guys to crawl in our DM and be like, it actually fucking works. And how about you quit spreading misinformation? Water trash. Yeah. It's called my vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is interesting. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting thing. Bed Bath & Beyonce, baby. <laughs> but so I should have gotten a pillow because they must be good. Everybody likes the pillows. Or are they buying them because they're just like, this is Christian or what the fuck ever? I don't know. Because the dude rocks the nice... 
a nice cross hanging off the neck at the commercials. He does. Yeah, he's for sure. He got that Christian energy, which we rock with over here for sure. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> oh, over where? Where yeah, are you? Where? where are you? Right here, bro. At my household. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, cool. Oh, really? When, hey, Blake. When, and, I, hey, and if everybody could turn it down, I'd like to talk Blake. to Jesus Christ right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Turn all right, it. we're down. Got, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All, all right. right, we're down, bro. It's we're down. down. Thank it's you for down. the sacrifice, brother. <laughs> all right, turn it up. Turn it up. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't okay. like being left alone got... with Jesus. I don't like <laughs> wow. being left alone with Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. Blake, right. real <laughs> question. Uh, since you just said that you rock with Jesus so hard, when was the last time you went to church? Church. Oh man! Ooh, this is interesting. I hate that question. I hate that question <laughs> because I feel bad. I feel bad, man. It's been a minute. I would like to attend. I would in like a minute, to attend. In a minute. And what would a minute? What day would you go? Random day or holiday? How long is a minute in your in your household that, um, that really fucks with Jesus? Damn. How long um, is it one minute? Shit. Last time I went to fucking church. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, calling it fucking church. <laughs> like, yeah. Damn. Yeah, fuck. How hard are you rocking with Jesus? Yeah. How hard are you really rocking with Jesus in your household? And how long is one minute? I'm really trying to remember the last time I went to church. <laughs> is, <laughs> like, is Jesus like skateboarding for you? Where it's like really part of your life, but also kind of not at all. Yeah. Also, sort of not at all. You want people to think you want people to think yeah hey man <laughs> it's more of an identity <laughs> thing jesus was a skater it's an identity yeah <laughs> yeah jesus was the first skateboarder okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah christ there you didn't play tony hawk come on man uh, true, uh, true. <laughs> good job uh good yeah no it's job. been a long time for me too i'm not but i didn't say that i'm like really fucking with jesus that hard so i you know no you didn't you didn't say that i didn't say that so it's but it has been we almost went this year for christmas just for like the ritual yeah because it's something yeah. but you're nordic dude you're you're like you're supposed to be like don't you warp worship like pagan gods and shit? Don't worry. I would have been drawing in the Bibles or some shit. You know how they got those little pencils? <laughs> yeah, the tiny little golf yeah, pencils. Yeah. All I used to do in church was just take those little pencils and then in like the, the columns on the side of the Bible, I would just like draw like guys with eyeballs hanging out. Dude, my mom... My mom used to clean the church because my mom oh, like cleaned right. homes and stuff uh, right. when when I was a kid. Yeah, the house of God. I'm sorry, mama. And she got the gig of cleaning the church. And dude, the amount of weird shit that you would find, like full bag, like we went to used condoms. Yeah, tons of used <laughs> condoms. No, we found like full bags of Doritos and shit and fun. We like full bags. Because I would help my mom. That's not that weird. <laughs> Were you helping your mom? Oh, you go. Me, yeah, I, I'd help my mom quite a bit. Right. That's cool. And uh, yeah, she paid me, but I'm not doing this to be nice, homie. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I love how he's like, I actually paid her. I turned it into a business. She worked for me after a couple months. <laughs> yeah, she paid me in Doritos. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, it was like crazy the amount of shit that you would find and like full on sketches. Like a kid, you could tell just like wasn't yeah. going to sit at church unless he could draw yeah. or like yeah. well they had little at my church they had like note cards and name tags so you could oh, spend a whole like nice. service mm -hmm. like working on your name tag so it's a very you corporate write, corporate type church that you yeah. went to yeah it was just like hello my <laughs> name is for like hello my name is i think it's for new members right you hope to not mm -hmm. wear one every my name is did you write slim shady please tell yeah. me you wrote slim shady <laughs> every time <laughs> <laughs> I think I was out of the church by the time I would have thought about that. My first communion name was, uh, my name is Jonas. Wait, what is first communion name? What does that mean? Yeah. That's oh, a you guys are Catholic. Was... You, don't, you don't fuck with Jesus like I do. Weezer. Like, was... a, like oh, a Catholic. Fuck off. Like yeah. a Catholic. <laughs> You're going to hell fuck now? With Jesus. <laughs> no, I, d I don't. Uh, yeah, first communion. I don't know. It's some shit. We had to take a bunch of classes, and then you have to be confirmed in the eyes of the Lord. And okay. so, by the way, my mom taught these classes. My mom doesn't know shit about the Bible. Damn, your mom was in it. Nor did she study up. She just, yeah. like, d did the classes. It. And then would be like, I'll read this part. And then none of us would read it. Your mom is definitely just like, if you just be nice. Just, and you're yeah, getting just into be heaven. nice to each other. And, yeah, don't. <laughs> was this, like, sixth grade? Uh, I wanted to say it was a little bit late. Yeah, maybe seventh grade. Yeah. Because I feel like I got confirmed because they were like, you know, this is the year you get confirmed. And I was still going to like. Were you Catholic? 
No, but it was, I don't know. It was something. I think they were fucking know. around with confirmations. First, com first communion? What's, uh, what's that's first Catholic. communion? First communion is second grade, and that is, yeah, yeah that's when you're... That's Catholic. Catholicism. I just remember being like, yeah. all right, well, let's get it over with. I'll go first. And like uh -huh. had to speak at the church, like in front of everybody. Yeah. Oh. And then like everybody afterwards is like, uh. essentially like, welcome aboard. And then none of the other kids did it after me. And I was like, welcome aboard. I thought we had to do this. Welcome aboard. What the yeah. fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, well, th I mean, it doesn't, if you didn't grow up Catholic, I don't think you had to do it. I think you just assumed that you had to do it. Huh. The people, the, the sun, Sunday school teachers, <laughs> Dude, I think, were exactly. like, okay, so this is the year you sign up here. And I was like, oh, uh, you're like, ah, oh, fine, whatever. Huh. All right, dude. Yeah. First is the worst. This is interesting. <laughs> now, this is an interesting thing. <laughs> this is a good first date question. What was your first communion name? But I don't have a name. So you had a name? You have a. Yeah, we, we had to. Yeah, they, you have like a, your. Car Why do you have to pick a name? Huge asshole. Because that's your name. I I, I don't when know. You go into I heaven? don't know anything about it because my mom was the teacher. We didn't learn anything. And <laughs> I just picked my name as Jonas from that Weezer song. <laughs> my name is right. Jonas. I'm assuming right. maybe like that's the name that's when you get to heaven, like there's a book and then they look up your communion name and they're like yeah they're like uh fuck uh my name is jonas you're good bro get in here next to the sweater song blake <laughs> <laughs> yeah come on in you're confirmed i remember I, when i was a little kid like i because we had to as a young catholic boy we had to uh Talk confess. Oh, uh, go ahead, yeah. And I confessed uh, that no I didn't really. Today. I was having a hard time believing. And the priest oh, just shit. goes, ah, I, "Yeah, just, just do it. Just fake just, it. Just suck on." And he told me to fake it. And I'm like, "What?" And he goes, mm -hmm. "Yeah, just fake it. No longer you fake it, you'll end up believing." And I'm like, "Oh." Yeah. And I remember thinking, like, that is some. I mean, that makes sense. That makes total sense, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, that's shitty advice. Yeah, that's how that gets us into a lot of trouble, dude. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Yeah, that's just. Sh yeah, that's just shitty advice. That makes total sense. It's it makes total yeah. sense. It's great yeah. advice if you don't yeah. like. Essentially, that is how it works. You just that's... sort of like go. Your your parents make you go until one day you're like. Yeah, I've been yeah. going for so long, I, I know no other ways. I'm in. Yeah. Let's get it and what, tatted. What was he faking? What was he faking? <laughs> what are you digging? <laughs> I don't know. Do you love him? What is this, 2020? <laughs> what kind of mask was he wearing? He's like, what you do is you just pretend you're not the person you really are, and uh, you just march on through. <laughs> Deep down, who you really are. And Wipe your fine. chin and go back, okay? I'll see you. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on, Andres. Oh, Low blow, oh, dude. Oh, Low yeah. blow. You're confirmed. Oh. Don't you dare ever say that again. <laughs> that is true. I'm so <laughs> and sorry. And you're confirmed. <laughs> and you've been yeah. confirmed. And <laughs> you've been confirmed. You know what I am actually pretty mad about is that I have well, not what, that's attended a oh, church here we go. in Los Angeles. I bet it's way different than where we came from. It's, I'm, sh dude. I know it's different, dude. You've never been to a church. I've been to church with your homie Teddy multiple times in LA. Thank you, God. Where did you do that? In in LA? Yeah. What the hell? Where did where did? Yeah. When when he when we all lived together. Uh, really? Teddy would go yeah. to church. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Why didn't y'all tell us? <laughs> we went. We went. I think on Easter, like at, at least once. I want to say we went twice. Cool. Damn. What the fuck? In one in one day? Wow. <laughs> no, several. <laughs> you, you know, a year apart or whatever on Easter. Well, you weren't specific. You weren't specific. I'm sorry. Yeah, they give out crackers, bro. They were they were hungry. They gave out crackers. Dude. Yeah, they, all the crackers, all that juice. Ooh, we yeah. gooey. Hella juice. You got some we, juice on yeah. your chin. Adam, no. do you remember where you guys went in L.A.? If that was I in don't. LA? It was, oh, okay. no. well, it wasn't one of those like Hollywood ones where I bet there's so many chicks, Adam. No, I, I, I dude, I, I drive past Mosaic all the time because I, I live right over there. And uh, which one's Mosaic? Mosaic is like the cool one on Hollywood and La Brea. <laughs> it's the cool church. Yeah. 
they like put up a big ass Christmas tree and shit and like people take selfies in front of it. Yeah, huge Christmas tree. There's billboards for it. Yeah. It's everyone there looks just kind of hot as fuck. Hot as fuck, dude. Like just hot as fuck. It's dude. essentially everybody fresh off the boat from wherever they move from and they're like, mm-hmm. I'm an actor, I'm here, I'm com- <laughs> we're mixing it up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay. Okay. Uh, it's right across the street from the acting school, Leslie Khan. That's right. Okay. Shout out. Only one Shout minute out to right now. Leslie Khan. <laughs> we used to be able to park over there, right? That's where you'd park for Leslie Khan. Did right, all yeah. you, Durs, Adam, you both did uh, like acting classes, right? Leslie Khan. Yeah, I keep saying her name. I. It's weird you even have to ask. You can't tell. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that you didn't take acting <laughs> classes, Blake. Uh, <laughs> it's a bagel. Yeah, yeah. It's a certain. It's a certain caliber that comes out of Leslie Kahn. I'm real as it oh. gets, bro. I I can't act. I can't <laughs> act. I can only be real, brother. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Just here's, yeah, here's took, what you do. We Just took Leslie Kahn, <laughs> and then you'll believe. Leslie Kahn was pretty uh, Hollywood minute. <laughs> it was it was it was cool. It was cool because you ended up knowing people from those classes that still work today. Like I met mm-hmm. uh well, I knew Eric Andre before, but we right. got to know each other really well from doing those acting classes together. Yeah. Right. And Eric Andre is one of the best actors I've ever met in my life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. You're damn right. He's good. Yeah. God damn. You know who was in my acting class? And I'm going to fuck up his name because I don't know if it was the first name or the last name or the last name or the first name. Do you love him? Uh, Farnsworth Bentley. <laughs> oh, shit. What did you was, say? Yeah. I didn't he, hear. Fonsworth, Farnsworth Bentley. I think it's Farnsworth, is it? Fa- whatever. Farnsworth Bentley. <laughs> Wait, is that the guy that used to hold the umbrella for Diddy? <laughs> Yeah. Or, yeah. He would like, yeah, he would like come over to my apartment. And we'd like run lines with like three other people from the class or whatever, because that's the whole thing. You got to like rehearse every day. That was the annoying part of the classes. Yeah. I mean, I, it, I get it because it's repetition. It's getting you better. But but it was one class once a week for like three hours or something. Yeah. And three hundred dollars. God damn. And then you had to. Damn. Uh, rehearse with at least three or four members of of your class these scenes every day. Yeah, yeah. you would have to go to somebody else's house mm-hmm. and rehearse. You found out real quick who was rich. Right. Oh, right. dude, like, that was the coolest part. You'd go over to somebody's house and you're like, "What?" And they're like, "Unbelievable." My husband is on some show. I remember we went to this right. house in the Hollywood Hills, and I was like. Whoa, whoa, way, whoa. <laughs> yeah. What's up with Yo. that guy? And they were like, uh, can you chill? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, All the, way. And they were serving their kids, which I know that you guys do this because you guys are cool California people. And, and uh, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you, we've been here for 25 years. And I bet I will do this too now. But at the right. time, I was in shock that they were serving their ch- It was like dinner time. And their kids were around. And they served them sushi. And I was like, (laughs) what world are we living in that these children are not even, they're eating sushi, but also liking it. Bro, my mom still hasn't had sushi. (laughs) Yeah, my dad still hasn't had a fish taco, holding it down. Would you look at that? Uh, My dad dad finally, he's never liked it any time, but he never really tries. He only eats like the tempura shit. Mm -hmm. And then we went to a really nice uh, (laughs) Sanchigo in Newport Beach, and it's a very nice sushi place. It's kind of a hole in the wall but they're fantastic it's like right, that's top, always the case top notch yeah and then uh my dad was like actually uh for uncooked fish that it that wasn't half bad <laughs> and I'm like, oh, all right i'm like yeah, yeah. yeah i know <laughs> Yeah, yeah but you're right. Has, yeah. has he ever really had good. just like uh, what is it, spicy tuna on like the sticky rice things? Like that's yeah. like a that's like eating a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the entry point right there. I love spicy tuna, baby. Well, we get them all the like, or, like Blake is still there, right? Or do you are do you fuck with? He brings his own hot dogs. Do you fuck with all <laughs> all <laughs> teriyaki? Yeah. Teriyaki only, bro. <laughs> For years, you were a Ugh. teriyaki chicken bowl guy. <laughs> Forever, and then you're a California roll guy. Forever, are you beyond that? Yeah, yeah. And then it's the Philly roll, the Philly roll with the cream cheese. <laughs> oh yuck, yuck, dude. Oh god, that stuff is nasty. So gross. Oh, the big boy. Yeah, I don't like those big boys. The big rolls. Uh, so what are you now? Are you able? Are you beyond that? How's them taste buds I mean, tingling? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can do anything except for uni. Mm. I don't eat uni. Is that what it's called? Okay. What's uni? With that? Yeah. What's is that uni? the brown paste? No, yeah. it's brownish uh, orange paste. It's a uh, urchin, I believe. 
Oh yeah, I don't like the urchin or the eels. I don't really like. It's not a paste. I think it's a it's an urchin. But what's yeah. the brown, orangish paste? I think that is uni. That's unari. That's that's inari. I think, right? <laughs> I think it is uni. I think it's uh, nasty. Like the, Durs, are you talking about the? It's not. It's not a paste. I think it's <laughs> urchin. Durs, are you how do you not uh, give me points on uh nasty? Come on, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I I fell asleep at the. Yeah, wheel. it is. It is the brown paste. Uni is the brown paste. I just looked it up. Yes, uh, th that we're talking about, like the brownish orangish paste. And uh, uni is actually the sex organ that produces rose, sometimes referred to as the gonads. No, sir, I don't like it. Or corals. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah, I don't fuck with that either. Yeah, no, I don't fuck with that. <laughs> I don't fuck with that. You know what? I've started to fuck with those little orange balls. Those. That's okay. that's row, right? Isn't that like? Yeah, yeah what that's is that? the row. Yeah, it's, that uh, that's a, it's caviar. That's a little salt bomb. Yeah, that's right. What I thought it was. Wait, it's caviar. I thought they were eggs. Wait, 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 wait. Because this it? might be on some dumb shit. But I think Hold caviar up. is. It might be interesting though. It's interesting. I think caviar is a very specific fish egg. This I think it has to be like. Is interesting. I is think interesting it has thing. to be like salmon egg to be caviar, caviar or something. I could be totally wrong. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think caviar is just fish eggs. Because they, they they describe the different kinds of caviar. Stur sturgeon egg. Oh, they're saying it's a sturgeon egg. Sturgeon egg is caviar. Anything else is Wait. roe. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. So roe is anything else is roe. Okay, so that's why caviar only caviar. But they don't they call it like. I feel like when I've heard... His mind is blown. His mind is blown. He's frizzing. I, no, man. I'm on some smart shit right now. I'm on some smart shit. I've heard caviar described like something like blue something caviar. But it must be a type of sturgeon. Well, that would probably be blue sturgeon. Beluga? Beluga caviar? Beluga? No, I Blue? don't think belugas... Yeah, that's a mammal, bro. Well, belugas are whales. B-E-L-U-G-A. Right, dude. Yeah, Sunday. well, it's a dick. mammal, Playboy. <laughs> Is a beluga a mammal? Very smart. Dot com. <laughs> hey, dude, suck my dick. A whale is a beluga. Yeah, yeah. You are so dumb. Can somebody go to <laughs> Is a beluga a mammal? Uh, a beluga is a mammal. Playboy. It's science. Playboy. Right. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. What a banger, by the way. Oh, hey, yeah. here's a good. Do, do, <laughs> do you fuck Raffy? with hand rolls? Do you fuck with hand rolls? I fuck I with don't. hand rolls. Yeah. I don't. Dude, I'm just starting to fuck with hand rolls. I love them. Oh, really? yeah, dude. Uh, do you guys ever just get the omakase? You, that's what you do Whoa. to... Wow, look at him go. Look at him go. That's what you do to uh, expand your palate, so you're not just ordering the same shit every time. Okay, Mr. Indonesia over here. What up? And then they hand you that's what they want Japanese. to make. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, not Japanese at all. <laughs> but omakase. He's just worldly. He's worldly. <laughs> Omakase, they just give you what they yeah. want to give you. Okay. Yes, that's the way you do it at a hand roll shop. I like doing it that way, where it's like, you give me... That's what I do at McDonald's. I'm like, that's yo, why... whatever you want to give me, <laughs> let me get it, bro. It's called the Omikase. <laughs> um, thank you. That's points. That's points. points. Yes, points. Let me get the Omikase, and they'd Wait. be like, they give you the apple pie. So, Adam, <laughs> when you do Omikase... <laughs> I have a pie that's delicious. When you do the om omakase <laughs> and you get something that you don't love, you just power through, right? Yeah. Well, well, then they only give you one piece of it. So then you, yeah, then you just say yeah. like, right. That's what I'm saying. You just are like, mm -mm. You, well, you could tell them like, yo, I don't. I have a, a sushi spot that I go to regularly, right. and omakase. then I see you see the same kind. You see the same guy all the time. Oh, he's the homie. And so you just you say like, yo, right. I don't like this one. And then the next time he does the Euro Makase, it he won't. He, they're so good at remembering, they just won't put that. They got a memory, right? But is that that is that still Omakase then? If it's tailored, no. Now it's kind of now it's tailored to you. Well, yeah, no. They they sort of steer the ship because they still do other. They try other things, but they they're sort of tailoring it. No, no, I know, but you know, it's like if you had a dietary restriction, right? It's like same. Like, but the the idea. The yeah. fundamental idea of it, of being like, you give me what you want. Yeah, and then he's like, yeah, maybe not. I don't like eel. I'll tell him, yeah, I don't know. Adam, I think if you want it your way, you need to go to... If you want it your way, you need to go to... <laughs> burger, to burger, chicken nuggets. <laughs> you don't have it anymore? Oh, yes, I do. What? 
Whopper, 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 Junior Double. So yeah, if, if you want it your way, I think that you need to go to Flame Royal, everyone. Uh, what the fuck? It kept going. <laughs> Hey, Blake. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get to the BK? You, you guys have been talking about this for... Adam, how have you avoided it? Don't you watch football? How have you avoided it? Yeah, I... I you don't know the BK Burger King commercial. No, can I tell you guys something I embarrassing? <laughs> I haven't watched one game of football. Good job, Adam. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I yeah, you just one. lost your man card. I, just, I don't. I don't. <laughs> the man card. I Like, I just don't care. Yeah, that's I don't good. Care. That's, that's good. Dope. No, I, I I sign up. Yeah, fuck football. Football sucks. I hate football. Football sucks. Did you ever? I've been watching a lot of movies lately and playing a lot of video games. <laughs> right, uh, it's the video games. That's, the that's your screen are, time. Are are bad now though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still I'm powering through. There's still good movies that exist yeah. on all these. Streamers. I don't know. You know. I don't know. That you haven't seen. I'm about to uh, and, yeah. and shows. I'm watching uh, Blackbird uh. right now, which am admittedly not at all football. Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> uh, but I I'm like a little jealous. I'm trying not to drink right now because I saw those photos of me in Indonesia and I'm like, Jesus Christ, rain it in. A little hamburger helper. Dude, dry January is over. Dry January is over, yeah. baby. Yeah, but I didn't do dry January. He's doing a dry Feb. I, it's the shortest <laughs> month. And I'm not doing dry February. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's going to no, be I'm the not. fucking Bacchus New Orleans. I'm going to be the king of uh, New Orleans. Oh, right. So uh, you, just need to, you need to <laughs> just dry out. Oh, so he's getting photo ready for that. I'm I'm gonna not drink. I'm gonna not drink until New Orleans, and all then right. I'm letting it all go. Hard twelve days. <laughs> you should do a little bit on the. Hey, hey, that should go well. You should yeah. taper up a little bit exactly. to that, though, Adam. I'm just no, as a friend. Yeah, Adam, you gotta rev. You gotta hey, rev. Hey. As a friend, you should taper. <laughs> My body's built to process <laughs> vodka, so I'm gonna be fine. No, taper in though, buddy. Come on, you know what I mean. Adam is gonna be back on that tomato only diet and on the <laughs> fucking float like. <laughs> <laughs> Taper in on that because you're going to go hard. It's a bagel. Pass the fuck out. Nah, dude. No, I'm telling you, my body's built to process <laughs> alcohol. So it's I'm still going to send it's it. It's only two it's... weeks. Like I drank, I drank the other <laughs> night uh, with, with Anders. Our bu Mike Lovanos had a little thing and we, we all got drunk. By the oh, way. Oh, hell yeah. Why weren't you there? Why weren't you there, guys? What are you talking about? Well, Kyle Mikey. lives in a wow. different place. Why wasn't yeah. I there? I, I think I just forgot it. Why well, weren't you there? <laughs> when was this? <laughs> yeah, good looking when out. When was this? Cool friend. The other the other night, Mike what, uh, Lovanos uh, had a uh, like a he redid a New Year's Eve party at some bar downtown. That's fucking dope. Yeah, it was cool. They had a very very shitty oh, personal yes, yes, like yes. family stuff. Obviously, we know. Uh, at the end of last year, leading into New Year's, so they were like, "New Year's sucked. We're gonna redo it," and they did it last uh, mm -hmm. Saturday night. Oh, that's cool. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's uh, that's yeah. By the way, when you I don't know when you left, Adam. When I left, there was a line of like. 250 people waiting outside to get in. The, there was a line of, when I got there, like 100 plus people. I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ. What is wow. this? What was going on? And and this place is not big. It's like a bar. No, and it was it was cool, but I mean, it was like, it just must be the hot new spot. I liked it. It, it was fun, but I was like, God damn. Mm. It, it was fine. Mm. Yeah. It didn't have anything that was like, oh shit, this is new, different, and better than any other bar yeah it was just like a cool it was just like a nice bar it was, it was a fun place to drink but it wasn't like people in line they were like was it awesome like how is it in there and i was like how is it who's in there <laughs> honestly there's a hundred people in front of you you guys should get the fuck out of here now yeah go find another spot yeah you should go to another bar though yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. i never like waiting in lines i don't like lines <laughs> Yeah, and break into a church. But then, but then the bummer is we got super. We got well, obviously we were drinking. We got mm -hmm. good and drunk. There's a pizza place next door. We go next door. Uh, I was like, maybe just one slice, <laughs> right? And I'm then, like, this is. And then they together. were like, oh, we've actually closed the kitchen. 
And I was like, okay, good. We're <laughs> out of here. Then the chef sees me, and it was mm-hmm. a big workaholics <laughs> fan. And he's oh, like, good. I'll fire some up for you. It'd be an honor. Pizza, pizza. And I'm like, it's okay. And he goes, nah, nah sit I- down. <laughs> I got you. And right. then he made us. Pizza, pizza. There's, uh, I Three think pizzas. Five, five or six of us total. Six yeah. of us. Uh, he made us six pizzas, and we hey, sat there oh God, and just fucking eating. handled. Well, that's a dream to me. That's a Detroit dream to me. That's a dream. Oh, it's Detroit style. Oh, that's the best pizza. Yeah. That's the best pizza. Oh, it was so good, dude. It was so good. That's a dream. Uh, and then Mikey's buddy, his rugby buddy, who has a fake testicle, pulled his testicle out at yeah. the dinner table <laughs> yeah. and was showing us his fake testicle and we're poking it with forks yeah. and stuff. Like a nudicle? Wait, what? Wait, yeah. what? His like, he has like a fake. He, we're winding down and you're bringing this to the table? You were poking his? Yeah, he has a fake nut. He has a fake nut, and uh, he pulls it out at the dinner table, and we're all poking it with, uh, you know, Not our fingers and with forks and stuff. Fingers yeah. cool, forks. And uh, then, and then the guy c- came over and was like, "Hey guys, uh, I'm glad we're having fun here, but uh, you can't <laughs> pull your nuts out." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can- Hey, Adam, uh, bro, I love that I kept the shop open for you, made you six pizza. <laughs> you can't be you fucking can't. stabbing a dude's testicle. <laughs> hey, Boy, sorry bro. to be a buzzkill, yeah. but you're, uh, you're, you gotta go. Tight butthole, though. <laughs> you're yeah. right in front of the window, my guy. What's <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, buddy. Uh huh. I heard you guys talk about pulling nuts out on the pot. I didn't know yeah. you do it here at this my is, pizza place. Wow, you uh, really are that guy. You really uh, are that guy. There's 200 people out there in line, man. <laughs> and that's another episode of <laughs> No apologies, no takebacks, no yeah, compliments. Well, do you this guys want to do them? Is it's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Let's save them for next week. Yeah, this is important. Yeah, this is important. Yeah, this is important. (laughs) This is interesting. This is interesting. (laughs) This is an interesting thing. (laughs) 